So, Brad, let's talk Cincinnati Bengals. Once again, for our audience, the 2020 Fantasy Football Almanac and Draft Guide. Uh, free updates, the most up-to-date guide, mathematically driven sleepers. I also vet all that stuff with crazy amounts of film study. It's just the most, prepi- the pro- most prepared guide that you're going to get. Scouting, mathematics, you get premium analytics. No other guide offers that kind of depth. Um, so check it out in the link below. It'll take you right to Amazon, available on Amazon.com. Uh, Brad, since any Bengals, to me... They couldn't get much worse than they were ah, last year. Ah, I, man, I think they're they, in, were they in the league last year. Oh my gosh, they were they were so bad, <clears throat> and I was a little miffed because I was high on uh, Joe Mixon as a fantasy football player last year, and he should have been good, and he really was. He went on fire the last eight weeks of the season, but the Bengals couldn't figure it out offensively. They couldn't figure it out defensively. Um, but that got them the first pick. And to me, the best pass, the best person to execute the offense um, that their coach wants to put into place um, with respect to Tua, because I think Tua um, is a better quarterback for other places, but I think they got the right quarterback. They have weapons, um, you know, players that aren't sexy, but you know, they have Joe Mixon, they have AJ Green, who he's not the leader there. Tyler Boyd is the leader in terms of receivers there. Um, you got Auden Tate, you got crazy receiver depth. Decent tight ends, an awesome running back, a rookie quarterback that can get the ball out and, and read defenses. They're going to be better, and they're going to be tougher, and they're going to win some games that frustrate other teams in the division. Like they'll, you know, they'll split with like Cleveland and stuff, and it'll drive Cleveland fans crazy. Uh, they might steal one from Baltimore or Pittsburgh. Um, interesting team going into 2020. But what do you think about this? Ah, man, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't think much. Yeah. I uh, I wish them the best of luck and Godspeed, especially in that division. I don't know, man. It's just I, I, I'm so turned off by these franchises that just can't seem to get it right. I mean, what is the problem? You know, because the NFL is designed to give you better picks if you stink, right? So it literally wants you to be better um, and supports that. So, Paul Brown, dude, he never, he never acquires draft picks. He never trades draft picks, which is just – nonsensical i'm looking mm-hmm. at their draft picks their draft class uh, a pick in the first round a pick in the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh it's like they have the most like mundane off season mm-hmm. ever and then you look at, at key key additions in free agency yeah they added some pieces but they added like one two three four like like five or six according to the guide key pieces they lose just as many look they're getting better and and having burrow there is going to be better and moving by the way from dalton to that I can't even remember the guy, Leif Erickson. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, he's, he's, Leif Erickson was a joke. But um, he sucked mm-hmm. last year, um, the quarterback. That was a bad move. But I guess, you know, again, it netted them the number one overall pick. I don't think much of them either, other than they now have a quarterback that can execute the offense, I think, probably better than what they had last year. Um, I, I'm searching in my brain for compliments to give this team. It's going to be tough, man. You're right. They're one of the worst organizations in the sports along with the Redskins. Um, it's got to be frustrating for a Bengals fan. Um, and Alec- they had their moment. Remember uh, five years ago or so, they were playing against Pittsburgh in the Yeah, uh, like Carson Palmer and all that stuff. They've had their moments, you know. Um, oh, Andy Dalton, Carson Palmer. Sorry, Andy Dalton is what I meant to say. But, man. Yeah, Andy Dalton. But it, the, the moments are brief, you know. Yeah. Uh, they're like mirages in the desert. They're not real. They just kind of come along and then they disappear. Yeah. And I, I don't know what it is, man. It's it's disheartening. It's losing culture, unfortunately. I mean, that matters. Culture culture matters. Ravens, I guess culture, culture does matter, right? The Ravens. All that. The Ravens and the Steelers have winning cultures. Yeah. Um, and that's why they're always at the top of this division um, consistently over decades. It's crazy, um, but they have a winning culture. So, you know, getting that program in place, I don't know that um, that their head coach there, Zach Taylor, I don't know that he's the guy to put that win. I, I am actually, I think they should have fired Zach Taylor. Um, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people are like, hey, no, you got to give your coach, you know, a year or two. To me, Zach Taylor and Matt Patricia, fire him. I've seen what I need to see from them. Um you know, um, uh, Bowles, I believe his name is, from Miami. Tough season last year. I liked what I saw from him. So, mm. you know, it's not about, like, snap decisions with me. It's about the eye test. You can see if the players are playing hard. You can see if there's, um, you know, scheme. You can see if there's kind of, like, strategic advantage that the coaches are trying to put people in place. You think Bill Belichick would have taken this team to 2-14 and 14 last year? I mean, you just... Right. With some of these guys, right. I, I don't right. understand. But then again, you know, again, we're talking about Paul Brown. He's not going to, he just signed this guy to a long co- like contract. He's not going to fire the coach, pay him out on his contract, and then 
hire another coach. That's not the style of the Bengals. Again, losing culture, right? It's okay with um, with mediocrity, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. But let me hit you with the over under, Brad, <laughs> with oh, the boy. Cincinnati Bengals over three, under. Can I guess? Yeah, what's the over under? We guess. Is it three, three and a half? Seven and a half. What? Seven and a half in this division. What? Seven that's and so a half weird. over under. That's an under for me, baby. That's so weird. This might be the underlock of the year. Wow. That's bizarre. I cannot believe that. Look, again, Bengals are going to be better. Look, I, I think they're going to struggle to win more than five games. I can't even in my head, outside of forfeiture, figure out a way they're going to win more <laughs> than six games. Forfeiture. Seven and a half. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's a that's a big surprise. I, that, where does that come? From? What what could that possibly be? I mean, it's the, the Burrow factor, the second year with the head coach. But like I just said, I'm not a believer in the head coach anyway. Um, so so to take the over would imply that they're a 500 team, which is not easy, man, for really good teams in this I mean, division. Right in this division, if I were to tell you that the Packers were going to go eight and eight, you'd be like. Yeah, okay, and they, they're good, and they have Aaron Rodgers, and they're an above-average team. I the whole, this whole thing is blowing my mind apart. I I, this, is, this is the most lopsided to me over-under I've seen, certainly this season, but maybe since we've been doing the show. Um, I'm not a big fan of betting futures, but I am a fan of betting under because I don't like betting overs because, one, it locks your money up for the entire season, and then, two, you're basically like betting that your quarterback, the quarterback of the team won't get hurt. Uh, because if the quarterback of the team gets hurt, then they then you end up getting screwed a lot of the times, um, and that has happened to me. But, okay, so if Joe Burrow gets hurt, okay, they're probably going to win less games. And another thing to think about is, remember, the whole offseason has been canceled for these teams. The rookie quarterback has not had any reps yeah, with this uh, offense. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be great. Andy Dalton, the safety blanket? Andy Dalton's in Dallas. So where's the safety blanket? You're going to go back to um to that you know, that that crappy quarterback I was talking. I haven't even I've neglected to mention his name. His name is Ryan Finley. Come on, guys, like seven and a half. Wow. No offense to Cincinnati fans. I think you'll win more games. Um, I think you know five five and eleven, six and ten, but seven and a half. Whew. Under. It's bizarre. Under. The whole thing's bizarre. I I think it was a typo by the lines the lines makers. That's a bet online. If you want to get in on that action, it's a bet online ad. So go ahead. They'll take your action. They'll be very happy. 